Good morning, friends. On today's topic, we're gonna hit some pointers on whether healthy eating can help you lose weight. I have been getting a lot of messages from you guys, which I adore, about your weight loss journeys, on how you are eating healthy but struggling to lose weight, or vice versa, you are eating a healthy, normal diet and hitting the gym as much as you can within a week and seeing no progress at all. It really pains me to hear that because I was there at that stage once before. It simply disheartens you and makes you throw in the towel sometimes. So hopefully now I can give you a little bit of perspective on the basics of weight loss so that you can become experts at it, you know? Okay, so maybe not experts, but just know a little bit more into it. Before starting, I'm gonna just tell you, healthy eating is great for you. Great for the mind, great for the body, just great in general. I freaking love healthy eating. But it doesn't mean that healthy eating will always lead you to weight loss. So let's start with the basic logistics on how we can help with weight loss first. At the end of the day, when it comes to weight loss, it's all about whether you are in a caloric deficit or not. So this means you eating less than your daily caloric maintenance allowance. This is whenever your total amount of calories in a day that you eat is less than your maintenance calories that you should be having within a day to maintain your weight. For example, a maintenance level of calories for a woman can range from 1,600 to 2,000 calories. For men, it's around about 2,500 calories. So to be on a caloric deficit, you should be eating a little bit less than these figures right there. So this range can vary for everyone. It really depends on your BMI and your metabolic rate. A little bit less than 1,500. Um, that's just from experimenting before, um, counting macros and everything like that, and um, see where my weight lies within calories so it really depends on your own body you might think that less than 1500 every single day just to maintain my weight is a little bit drastic and low but genetically I do have quite a low metabolic rate and you've got to think I'm a small five foot girl you know little me does not need a lot of calories coming back to your question of whether healthy eating can help you with weight loss well it's a bit of a yes and a no I personally really do not like to say this, but it really is all about the calorie. If you want a controlled and progressive, consistent weight loss, you are going to have to start counting your calories slash macros. My reason to this is that healthy, nutritious foods can be extremely healthy for you but it can also be high in calories. Where counting macros or counting the calories within a type of food comes helpful. I always insist on my clients to getting to know the macros within their foods because it's just gonna help them be progressive in their weight loss journey, which will also help with future reference as well. Uh, for example, an avocado. It's super rich in healthy fats, but at the end of the day, fat is fat. Whether it is healthy fats or the bad kind of fats, it's calories and fats. Basically, one gram of fat equals to nine calories. So within an average avocado, one full one is 29 grams of fat. So if I were to have a full avocado within a day, that's three quarters of my fat intake of the day gone. You can see where I'm coming from. Eating healthy is really good for your body and mind, but if your goal is to lose weight, you will need to track the healthy food that you're eating as well. I am not preaching to you that you shouldn't have an avocado, but what I am preaching is that with every type of food, whether healthy or not, you should be weary on how much you have of it and what is in it. Because it's all about having a balanced diet at the end of the day. At the end of the day, calories are calories. And I know for a lot of you, which is the same for me as well, counting calories are super tedious. But learning from experience, you've got to put yourself through that and know what each and every food has, what the ratio of carbs, fats and proteins. Because once you start getting used to it, it'll set you up for the future where you can start maybe intuitively eating. 
So that's where I am at the moment. I'm intuitively eating to diet down. Yes, it is a lot slower than consistently counting the calories and the macros that I'm having within a day. But that's just how I like it. As long as I have progress, then I'm happy. Because with anything, you've got to make it work within your lifestyle. So for me, that's me, intuitively eating. 80% healthy, wholesome foods and then 20%, you know, indulging myself a little and then hitting it hard at the gym at the same time, you know? Because sometimes, no matter how hard you work at the gym and how many calories you burn at the gym, it really all comes down to the calories and the food that you put into your body. Of course, there are a lot of different other factors that can go into weight loss, but I'm not gonna dwell too deep today and I'm just gonna keep it quite simple. But I do hope that this basic knowledge has helped you in some sort of way. For now, I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button for the notifications of the next video. So let's perspire in the next vlog to come. Bye guys! Oh my days, like literally had the most craziest craving for like a dessert. And then all of a sudden I was like looking up recipes for like eclairs and I was just obsessed with having a dessert. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to satisfy this craving with a light, gentle, maybe like soft sponge or something like that. I want to make it up. So went into the fridge and I was like, crap, I used the last of my eggs with that omelet because I was starving. And then I was like, oh my days, like I have nothing in the house to make a cake. And I'm craving for something sweet, desserty wise. And then, you know what I found in the fridge? Which was like an impulse buy from like Christmas time. Cinnamon rolls. Yes. Making that noise. So glad it's not out of date because I was like, hmm, if it's out of date, would I have still, I, I think I would have still, you know, used it. I'm that desperate. Yes, desperate time because it was for desperate actions. What's up, cinnamon rolls? You look good. Yes. Mmm, my chicken wings are done. Mm. I was really craving hot wings from KFC. I absolutely love hot wings from KFC. And Gavin was like, you're meant to be eating healthy, you know. It's not long until we get to paquettes. So I'm like, fine. I shall make to... To curb my KFC craving, I will make chicken wings, but not fried. You know, <laughs> gotta compromise somehow. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to another lovely day in the Shack household. I'm really happy today because I just bought my tickets to Belfast for three days. The girls in Belfast have set up a dinner date, and I'm, I was like, yeah. You know, why not? I'll come too. <laughs> I've been feeling a little bit down lately, so I was like, why not? You know, I know the girls will uplift this depressing mood from me. It would be nice to see my family and friends before I head on to my honeymoon. What do you think? I got microblading done on my brows. She actually changed the shape of it just ever so slightly and I, I really like it to be honest. It lifts my face up just ever so slightly. We just hope it heals properly so it stays like this. So that I got a sunny paquette, you know, no need for makeup and my eyebrows are on point. Sweet cutie. So basically I personally cut my dog's hair once a month just like to clean up and then if he really needs a big cut then I'll cut even more. Usually when I cut his hair I change into like a t-shirt and shorts and I think he kind of knows. Whenever he saw me changed into my clothes he hid under my dressing table which was really cute. Do you ever get that no matter what the weather is, you have to walk your dog and you just simply just put this on? Yep. Yep, I'm ready for this weather. Apparently in the northeast of England, it is preparing for another snow weathery type of thing. I don't know. 
Oh, buddy, what happened? Okay, we'll dry you up. This is the before. Before all cut. I'm ready to go.